Hi, my name is Mark Patterson and I'm with GoMeasure 3D. And today I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on how to do a color scan in FlexScan 3D uh, using a DSLR that has been attached to the mounting frame. Um, so to start off, you would do your calibration and um, like normal, you do a regular setup for the regular lenses and try and get the focal, uh, that little red hash mark, uh, the crosshairs, lined up on the same square as you see there. Um, then when you add your DSLR, you want to mount it above camera one, and you want to make sure the lenses are as close as possible. So you want a small mounting frame, um, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to position your camera so that it's, it's you know, positioned with the same red crosshairs at pretty much the same point as that first camera. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to bump your aperture all the way up so that it'll, it will capture everything from the front to the back of whatever you're going to scan as far as um, color goes. Uh, and then the last thing you want to do before you start your calibration would be to zoom in all the way with your camera lens and focus in on the pattern here and then zoom out to an appropriate length. Usually you want to be zoomed out to about the same frame that uh, camera one is at. So once this is all done you go through a regular calibration moving the board about and then you press calibrate and it will calibrate a regular calibration and do a texture calibration. So after that you would come over to project and click enable texture capture and you would want a white projector because that's what you're going to be using. Um, and then, you know, if you want, you can enable your rotary table and do regular calibration that way. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick few simple scans of a few different parts. Uh, we're going to start off with a little toy car here and adjust my exposure so that we can scan it. And I'll just do a real quick scan of this. And we're going to take a look at the color and the texture mapping for this scan and see how it comes out. So pretty good. Um, as you notice, you can change your exposure down here, up and down, uh, to make this brighter or darker. Um, just like you could change the exposure for these two settings. So I had it set pretty bright, so it caught a really good capture of my uh, little toy car. Um, so, you know, that's one example. We're going to do some different colors here and some different textures. Um, that one was made out of little plastic parts, um, you know, very reflective and shiny. This one is going to be my toy Triceratops. It's uh, molded plastic, so... We'll bump this up a little bit and try and get a good scan of the little Triceratops. All right, and as it's coming in, we'll take a look at it. And it looks really good. It caught some of the back shadow of its foot, so um, took a picture of that, you know, really picking up everything I wanted to. Um, but let's take a look without it on. As you can see, you got that back foot there, and where that shadow came in, it got just that bit on the foot. So, you know, it's doing a great job of picking up the scan data. I can go back and forth between a solid mesh and um, my texture. Um, and just to show the last, you know, different types of things we can pick up, um, I'll do a scan of my hand and just do that one real quick and try not to move all right and let's take a look at my hand and as you can see it picked up my hand really well um, scroll in here you can take a look at some of the scars I've got on my hand right there so you know uh, color scanning is pretty simple pretty straightforward um, everything is really in the calibration, and the key to getting a good calibration is making sure that your uh, DSLR is as close as possible to the actual lens of the scanner, so that 12 millimeter lens. So really down to the board, as close as you can get it. 
um, and in the same position. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or would like to know more, please visit www.gomeasure3d.com and go to our contact page. Thank you.